Bonjour. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming. The Secretary General will start with uh, short opening remarks and then he will be happy as ever to take your questions. Secretary General. Good afternoon. Um, earlier this month, I visited Afghanistan. I met senior Afghan leaders in Kabul, including President Karzai, and I visited uh, the Helmand province and met our troops. I have been to Helmand several times over the last six years. Uh, what I saw on this occasion was a significant shift. The Afghan army and police are in charge of the security for three quarters of the province. They are already conducting nearly all security operations. ISAF's role has already shifted to training, advising, and assisting. C'est le principe même de la transition. Les forces afghanes passent au premier plan et relèvent le défi d'assurer la sécurité. Il s'agit d'inverser l'équilibre entre la FIAS et les forces afghanes. Et dans le Helmand, ce changement a déjà eu lieu. D'ici à moins de deux ans maintenant, les Afghans assumeront la pleine responsabilité de la sécurité de leur pays. Entre temps, nous devons consolider le progrès que nous avons accompli. The Afghan forces have already shown that they can do the job. In places like Helmand, they are doing the job. Now the challenge is to make sure that they can keep on doing the job. That means providing the training they need in leadership and in specialized skills such as logistics, management, and maintenance. The next two years will not be easy. There will be hard fighting. There will be casualties. And there may be setbacks. But already, Afghanistan's forces are stronger than they have been at, at any other moment in history. They will continue to grow stronger, more effective, and more experienced. And we are determined to support them through 2014 and beyond. Helmand is also a province that has seen real change in its local governance. Elected district councils are investing in development uh, using donor funds channeled through the central government. The governor in Helmand told me that security was his priority and that the people in Helmand have increasing confidence in their army and police. So this is the Afghan people's chance to take control of security and to take control of their destiny. I believe, and the Afghans with whom I spoke believe, that this is a chance which they must seize. That is a message which I also heard from a group of young Afghan leaders, men and women whom I met in Kabul. They were from different parts of the country. They came from different backgrounds, ethnic groups, and professions. They spanned the public and private sectors. They all belonged to a younger generation. The Afghan men and women of today who are helping shape the Afghanistan of tomorrow. They are united by energy and determination, by a long-term vision of Afghanistan as a democratic and stable country, by a commitment to the Constitution, to the country, and to each other. They told me this, Afghanistan is our country 
It is our responsibility. That sense of responsibility is vital for the future. A new generation has emerged in Afghanistan. This young generation wants a new way of life, not a return to the dark days of the past. The Afghan people has tasted freedom and seen which progress it can bring. So, in the future, the enemies of Afghanistan must not only fight a strong Afghan army, they will also have to fight the aspirations of the Afghan people towards freedom, peace, and prosperity. Afghanistan faces many challenges beyond security, which perhaps are even greater than security. Challenges such as governance, development, the rule of law, and the protection of human rights and freedoms, including women's rights and press freedom. Tackling those challenges will demand work commitment and support from the international community, not just NATO. Above all, it will demand engagement by the Afghan people themselves, first and foremost during the presidential elections next year. It will be vital that those elections are inclusive and that the process and the outcome are acceptable to the Afghan people. That will be the best way to maintain stability within Afghanistan and support within the international community. Because the story of transition is the story of the Afghans taking their country back into their own hands, taking responsibility. That is what we need to see in the next two years. And after my meetings in Kabul and Helmand, it is what I believe that we will see. It will not be easy, but it can be done. And together, we must see that it is done. And with that, I'm ready to take your questions.